Cyprus organization. Such a move would carry with it some major implications for America's relationships in the Middle East. Here is senior correspondent Eric Sean. The Muslim Brotherhood is banned in five Muslim countries, <laughs> classified as a terrorist group. Founded in Egypt in 1928, its goal is for society to be ruled by Islamic law. Fox News has learned the Trump administration is considering banning it here too and designating it as a foreign terrorist organization known as an FTO. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer was asked if President Trump will make the designation. I'm not going to get ahead of any announcements that we may or may not have coming in the near future, but make no mistake, the President understands the threat that our nation faces, and he's doing everything he can to attack it, root it out, and destroy it. I firmly believe that it does threaten national uh, security interests. Florida Republican Congressman Mario Diaz-Balart and Texas Senator Ted Cruz have parallel bills calling on Secretary of State Rex Tillerson to consider if the Muslim Brotherhood should be added to the terrorist list. At his confirmation hearing, Tillerson called the Muslim Brotherhood, quote, agents of radical Islam. Experts say it has U.S. followers, and its ideology has spawned terrorist groups like Al-Qaeda and Hamas. But the group claims it renounced violence decades ago. You have leaders of the, of the Muslim Brotherhood who are uh, designated terrorists. You have uh, organizations under the, the Muslim Brotherhood, like Hamas, uh, who are designated as terrorist organizations. So I think it's pretty much a no-brainer that this is a terrorist organization. But some are wary of labeling the group as terrorists. Robert Polito specializes in constitutional law at Seton Hall University and says the group does not qualify as a terrorist organization under U.S. law. I think designating the Muslim Brotherhood as an FTO is bad in legal terms. I think it's bad in terms of diplomacy. I think it's bad in terms of civil liberties and it's bad in terms of our constitutional tradition. And it could have a devastating effect on Muslim American communities in the United States. Designating the Muslim Brotherhood as a terrorist group has been tried before. Last year, Congress considered a similar bill that was co-sponsored by now CIA Director Mike Pompeo, but it was not voted on by the House. James. Eric, thank you.